Now today we're talking about five sneakers you should not be wearing in 2022. Now before we get into this list, I want you guys to know these are just suggestions. If you like any of these sneakers I'm about to list, go ahead and rock them. Listen, I just want you guys to look your best in sneakers. So if that sounds good to you, let's go ahead and get into these five sneakers you should not be wearing. Real quick, before we get into that, if you guys like fashion, sneakers, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Now let's go ahead and get into it. Now first sneaker we have, Jordan 1 mids. Now this might come as no surprise to some people because mids are hated in the sneaker community. And the sad reality is people will make fun of you just because you have mids. Now the number one reason people hate on mids is simply because they're not Jordan 1 highs. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, mids are made with some horrible quality compared to the highs and generally, there's no hype when it comes to the mids, so sneakerheads just tend to hate on them. But I guarantee you, it takes one collaboration, maybe an off-white collab with a Jordan 1 mid, and people will be all over them. So my suggestion would be, instead of buying mids, go ahead and just stack your money until you're able to afford a pair of Jordan 1 highs. And if you're really on a budget, I recommend you pick up some Jordan 1 lows. Lows seem to be really welcome in a sneaker community, and they're actually easier to wear compared to the highs. Plus, in my opinion, they're easier to wear. They look better with shorts and pants. Next up, we have B Air Force Ones. I don't know how or when this became a trend, people love to wear some B Air Force Ones. I don't know if they think it's some sort of aesthetic, but people love wearing B Air Force Ones. Now, if you're one of the select few that wear B Air Force Ones, people are gonna judge you whether you like it or not. If you're walking around and be Air Force Ones, people are gonna assume you're a dirty person, when in reality, that could be completely wrong. So if you've had a pair of B Air Force Ones and you really can't afford a new pair, it wouldn't hurt to just clean them up a bit. You don't even have to go out and buy a sneaker cleaner. You have all those ingredients in your house, all you need is some dish soap and a toothbrush. Give them a nice scrub down and they'll look like new. Next up, we have New Balance. Now, I'm speaking about a specific type of New Balance. Now, New Balance have become super popular in the sneaker community due to their recent collaborations. Now, I'm not gonna be one of those guys who lie and say they've been on New Balance for a while. I really wasn't checking for them until their recent collaborations with the 550s and the Protection Pack. Now, just because New Balance are trending doesn't mean you can go to the store and pick up any New Balance you see. You really want to stay away from those like comfy dad type of New Balance. Even though they might be comfortable, they just don't look good. Now, next up, we have designer sneakers. Now, don't get me wrong. Some designer sneakers are cool, but honestly, it's not worth the high price point, especially since you'll only wear them on certain occasions. It really just isn't worth it in the long run. Nowadays, so many brands have sneakers that look identical to high-end designer sneakers for half the price all because it doesn't have the high-end designer name attached to it. So before you go blow a bag on a pair of sneakers, make sure you keep an eye out for sneakers that give off that same look, but it will be way more affordable. Next up, we have the Nike Hirachis. Now this one hurts to say because if you've been in the sneaker game for a while, you know how legendary this sneaker is. This was a goaded sneaker a few years ago, but nowadays you really don't wanna wear them because they're kind of outdated. This is really a sneaker you should leave back in like 2016, 2017, because they don't look good with outfits. Not to mention they run super small and there's tons of better options out there you can go with instead of the Nike Hirachi. Again, it hurts to say, but make sure you stay away from these in 2022. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this list in the comment section below. If you like fashion and sneakers, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>